is the first day in Spain. I just got up, got dressed and I did my makeup but you can see my bags underneath because I'm really tired because it's 7.47 here but in England it's like quarter to seven because we're an hour ahead. So I'm really tired but I'm excited because obviously first day in Spain. I think we're going shopping today. I don't know but I'm gonna vlog it. I really need the roots of my hair done because I'm not feeling blonde enough at the moment and it's annoying me. I might turn my hair up, I don't know, but I'm gonna get ready to go out and yeah. Did I see? Zara right now we just came from Bershka I bought myself a top I was gonna get another top but um, it was a little bit too small when I tried it on and they didn't have the size up so I didn't end up getting it I also tried on like three denim skirts and none of them like fit me properly because they're all low waist and I like high waisted stuff and I didn't want like my bum just hanging out of them so I left them and now we're in Zara I'm looking for some other denim skirts that are maybe high rise <laughs> and yeah i'll do a haul when we're back also i'm recording really awkwardly because i don't want people looking at me thinking i'm a weirdo but i'm hoping they don't understand what i'm saying <laughs> from the first shopping place basically we went shopping this morning but we was going out in like another hour to a different place so it's currently half one and i don't know if i should do a haul now because i don't know if i'm gonna buy more stuff and i only bought three things i wanted more things but they like didn't have my size or like i just didn't end up getting them so i'm gonna wait until we go out later again and then if i buy more i'll do a haul at the end but yeah it's just been a cute first day in spain just a little shop it's not been like sweating hot it's not been cold, it's been warm. And then tomorrow, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Tomorrow is literally the main reason we've come on holiday. So you're gonna have to wait and see. Well, you probably saw it in the intro, but you know. go out and end up doing more shopping because we end up going out to go shopping but the shop oh, but the shopping center was shut until like five and we went out at like four so we went to sit down we had a few drinks and then by five i don't know we weren't really in the shopping mood so we went down we had another drink we did look in some shops but that was pretty much it and now we're back i need to get in the shower and take all my makeup off and everything get ready for bed because I feel like the quicker I sleep, the quicker tomorrow's gonna come. And I'm so excited for tomorrow because I'm getting a tattoo. I've wanted this tattoo since I was like 14. I'm not even joking. I'll explain more tomorrow, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna get ready, go sleep now, and I'll see you in the morning. So it is the next day in Spain, and I am getting a tattoo in an hour and 10 minutes. Like an hour and 10 minutes, I'm gonna have a tattoo. I'm so excited. That's actually like kind of the main reason we came to Spain. Like we came here to see family, obviously, but I've wanted this for so long. Like since I was 14, I started mentioning it, but like 
actually desperately wanting it probably like a year because I asked for it for my 17th birthday because I thought we could still get them done in England at 17 with parents permission but we literally looked like everywhere and no one would do it so fair enough like not losing their legal license and stuff like that but in Spain it is legal to have them done at 17 so I'm getting it done literally an hour and like eight minutes now like not even that and I'm just getting it done here it's basically it's a drawing I got my mum my dad and my sister to draw a little heart on a piece of paper like ages ago and it's going to be like their hearts underneath my actual heart if that makes sense I just thought it was the cutest idea for literally the longest time I just wanted it so long and it's like I'm finally gonna have a tattoo that is crazy to me but I'm so excited and yeah film off of the tattoo and i don't think you understand how obsessed i am with it like i'm so obsessed so this is my dad's drawing this is my mom's drawing and this is my sister's drawing and i wanted it like i wanted all of their hearts tattooed under my heart because i just feel like we're all together i don't know it's so cute i'm literally i don't think you understand how obsessed i am and also i was really i got really nervous just beforehand i thought like this is really gonna hurt like it's right on my ribs it's gonna hurt it didn't it was literally I feel like I expected it to be so much worse than it was. It literally felt like a scratch. But yeah, it pretty much like felt like a scratch to be honest. And honestly, I think it's better than getting like a piercing because when you get a piercing, like it hurts and then it carries on stinging like after it's already done. The tattoo, like it kind of hurts while it's getting done. Well, I feel like it feels more uncomfortable than like hurt. Like it just feels not nice, I don't know. But then like once it's done, it doesn't continue to sting or continue to hurt. Like it's, it's done now. I just... I, I'm so obsessed with it. I just, I don't know. I've got no words. I've literally just been laying here because we haven't done much since being home and I can't stop staring at the tattoo. It's actually bad. I actually am so obsessed. I need to stop. I just said as well, since we got home, this obviously I don't live here, but since we're back to where we're staying in Spain, which is my auntie's place. So, yeah, it's so cute. So it is the third and the last day here. I've just been packing my suitcase. We've got pretty much the whole of today because our flight is at like, I don't actually know what time our flight is, but I know that we're supposed to arrive in England at like 11 p.m. at night. So we've pretty much got the whole day here. Um, I think I might go get my nails done because it's like 10 times cheaper here than in England. It's like 25, 30 euros here. And at home it's like 40 quid. So might get my nails done to save me some money for when I go back home and I think we're just having kind of a chill day to be honest because I don't know oh my tattoo is it's looking good it's not like red or sore or anything it looks I'm obsessed with it like it's not hurt once it's not it's not anything it's literally perfect so yeah that's all I've got to say really also, I just remembered when I went shopping the other day, I said I was going to give you a haul and I never did. And because I'm packing my suitcases, I pack my suitcases, packing my suitcase, I've got all the stuff. So I'm going to give you a really quick haul of everything I bought. So I didn't actually get a lot, so this is going to be a really quick haul. But I've got this REM Beauty Lip Gloss Lip Oil in the shade Picking Petals. I've wanted this for literally ages. Like, I don't think you understand. I've wanted this lip gloss for ages. It was more expensive than it would be in England. It was like... 19.99 euros which translates to like 17 pounds and it's like 15 pounds in england but it's fine because i can never find it and i wanted it so i got it and then i got this pink bodysuit it's just a pink baby pink bodysuit from pull and bear and then i also got this black top i can't really show you what it looks like i'll put a picture in of me wearing it because you can't really see what it looks like and this is from bershka 
And then the last thing I got, I'm actually wearing right now, is some jeans from Stradivarius. I don't know how this say it. Is it Stradivarius? Stradivarius? I don't know. But wait, I'll show you the jeans. Can you see? They're just... I don't know if you can see very well. But they're just some, like, baby blue jeans. And I love them. So, yeah, that's my little haul of what I got in Spain. Also, sorry about the dog barking in the background in all of them clips. Or, like, the background noise. There was people walking outside. Just causing so much noise. I don't know if you could hear it or not. But it was very annoying. trying to ignore it because the only place I'm going now is the airport so it doesn't really matter how I look going there but we just got back from being out I ended up getting my nails done they were 25 euros for some French tips and like I pay 40 quid in England for some French tips and like 25 euros translates to like 20 pounds so I literally got these for like half price so was so good I'm really glad I decided to get my nails done here because that saves me money when I go home but yeah we also after that we went out to tapas for some lunch i was starving so i didn't eat breakfast because don't know why to be honest i think i was just being lazy and couldn't be bothered to get up um but yeah we're going to the airport in like an hour and a half i think we're just chilling here for now I need to charge my phone make sure my airpods are charged but it's only like a two hour flight so i'll have enough charge anyway but i like to be 100 percent charged and then I think our flight is at 9.45. But we're getting there a bit earlier because that's the only way we can get there. But yeah, and then it's time to go home. I'm actually very excited to be in my bed because I've been having to share this. I don't know if you can see this, like, it's a double bed, but I've been having to share it with my mum. And I have my bed at home where I like to spread out. So I'm excited for that. <laughs>